Any questions, guys? Any questions? Any doubts? Any challenges you faced? Already uploaded the morning's video in the in the in our channel. Okay, so I guess it was not added to batch forty six. Is it added to batch forty six guys? Class five. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, then that's fine. Yeah, it was added to batch forty six. Okay, fine. Uh, anyone tried installing SQL Server, guys? Anyone tried installing SQL Server? Any challenges? Yes, I have installed. Yes. If it succeeded or you faced any challenges? Succeeded. Very good. Oh, good. Good. Okay. Fine. Because I've seen most of YouTube videos. Oh, thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, let me start the machine. Okay, so once the machine is started, Giri always you will say no, 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 <laughs> but that's okay. But when you will say yes, Giri. Morning also you said no. When you will say yes? Sir, testing some problems. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, sir. Yeah. Shahana, good. Guys, you have to practice as early as possible. Otherwise, if you just postpone it for one day, for two days, you can't understand anything, guys. Again. You have to watch the whole video, the two to one half hour session. You have to watch it completely. Then only you can start installing. So it's always better to okay uh, start the practice immediately. Don't do the uh, parallel uh, uh, practice with me, guys. Okay. So once the class is completed, once the video is available, then you can do it. Generally, some people will have this tendency. They will keep on doing parallelly with me. Don't do that. You can you cannot concentrate on the classes. You cannot concentrate on the practice also. Okay, so it is going to waste your time. So don't do that. But let me connect to this server remotely. So in the last class, we just discussed about the installation, how to install the SQL Server, what and all options you have to choose while installing SQL Server. and we have also discussed some installation terminologies so can anyone tell me in case if your installation is failed where to check if your installation is failed where where we have to check guys what are the sources summary.txt very good and next summary.txt is one source next Do we detail have file. detail file dot txt? Very good. We go to timestamp folder. Very good. Detail folder. Very good. Very good. Shakshay Arvind Girish Kachani Lakshmi Madhavi Navi Saurabh Deshmukh Shahana Srikant Sneha Sri Lakshmi. Okay. Fine. Okay. So let me check why it is not connecting. Yeah. So ninety nine percent is if you are connecting to the same internet, no need to check the IP address every time. Okay, so if you change the internet, then IP address also will be changed. Then you have to connect to the server directly. Then you have to check the IP address, current IP address. If you are connecting to the same internet, then no need to keep on checking the IP address and all. Okay, the same IP address generally you will get it. Fine. So in the last class we discussed the uh, we discussed about the installation of SQL Server. We discussed how to install SSMS. What is SSMS? Okay. Uh, so before SQL Server 2016, okay. So how to install SSMS, guys? Can anyone tell me before SQL Server 2016 how to install SSMS? It was inbuilt. It was inbuilt. It was inbuilt. Okay. So earlier while yeah while choosing this. Uh, um shared features anyone remember that screen shared features while choosing the shared features there you can see one extra shared feature called management tools you have to select that management tools then you will get the management studio 
uh, for the sequel server versions less than 2016 like 2005 to 2014 you have to follow that procedure in the shared features you will have extra option called management tools you have to select that management tools then management studio will be installed automatically from 2016 onwards you have to download it explicitly and again guys in the organization we don't download it in the organization already in the shared location the software will be there the downloaded file will be there you can copy the downloaded file from that particular uh, shared path to the server and you can start installing ssms guys right so once the installation is done what will happen in the windows machine what kind of folders will be created what kind of services will be created how many services will be created what are the uses of those services what are the use of the folders how to recognize whether that is a default instance or named instance based on the services and folders mostly these things we have already discussed in the morning class but again okay we'll we'll discuss those things again guys right so once you install the sql server once you install the sql server what will happen guys so in your machine there will be like some changes guys in your windows machine there are some changes right so where to check it in case if your sql server is installed what kind of changes will be there okay so first change is like it will create a folder in the c program files with the software not only for sql server if you install avesta antivirus also you can see some folders with avesta you install zoom also you can see one folder with zoom like that whatever application you are installing in the windows machine it will create one folder with the software name i installed microsoft sql server so this folder was created during the installation if you open this folder you can see multiple folders okay these folders these numbering folders are binary someone asked during the discussion of sql server we have discussed one thing like um, bill numbers right we just discussed about the bill numbers and uh, for sql server 2012 what is the bill number guys how the bill number will start for sql server 2012 What is the bill number for SQL Server 2012? 11. 11. 11. Major, Major 1.0. Mm, okay, fine. Once I open the document, then everyone is opening their mouths. Huh? Fine. Right. So, here, if you see here, these are the bill numbers, right? I told you these are the folders. Okay. So when you install SQL Server 2005, 90 folder will be created. When you install SQL Server 2008, 100 folder. For 8 R2 also 100 folder will be created. For 2012, 110 folder will be created. For 2014, 120. For 2016, same. 13.0, you have to remove the dot. Okay. And uh, guys, while, while discussing these points, okay, generally don't tell 13, um, which one? 13.0 13.0 don't tell like that that is not a professional way okay some people will call it as a 13.0 no 13.0 okay as a professional we have to call it as a 13.0 so generally as a uh, pro, um, like uh, what i can say uh, if, if i am taking interviews for the students generally I'll, I'll observe these kind of things this is how even though those are very small small things i'll observe those things i can easily identify how they are like pronouncing the terminology sometimes uh, those who don't have any knowledge in the SQL Server, they can't even spell some words, clustering they cannot say, sessions they cannot say, they will say as a section, section, section for sessions, sessions, okay. So by using these terminologies, how you are pronouncing terminologies also, we can easily understand whether you are a fake guy or a real time guy, that's why it's always better to like uh, interact, interact to, it should be interactive classes guys, that's why you should keep on talking, talk. You can you, you should keep on talk on the terminology and all okay in the class so when you install the sql server there will be some folders created in the program files guys up to this path okay if you see here up to this path this path c program files microsoft sql server this is called instance base directory up to this path okay Control C. Up to this call, we'll call this as a instance base directory. Right. 
if you go inside any of these numbering folders these folders are called instance binaries okay instance binaries okay okay if you go out and if you see here this is the main folder guys generally in all these folders supported files will be there the supported files will be there some supported files when you install sql server there are different types of files will be installed in that windows machine guys copied from that software from the sql server software it will copy some files to the windows machine all those files supported files and all you can see in this folders guys binaries this is the main folder called instance root directory what is this guys instance root directory root directory okay so instance instance base directory up to microsoft sql server if you go in any of the numbering folders those the, that path is called instance binaries and if you go inside that main folder that is called instance root directory guys if you go inside this ms sql you can see some other folders okay this is backup folder this is bin and folder this is data folder this is ft full text data so some supported files will be there mainly this is very important folder data folder and backup folder guys so generally if you create any databases and all uh, the backend files will be created in this location guys okay i'll show you again nothing to worry so these are the folders will be created after installation guys binaries and instance based directory if you see 80 90 110 means don't think sql server 2005 2000 sorry 2000 2005 2012 is installed no some features for example even though this is sql server 2017 some base features are still with the same folders guys that's why you will get the folders of course when you install 2017 you don't get 2005 2008 8 or 2012 and all lower versions you don't get it but the base folders and all you will get it guys the base files the base supported files and all will be there in these folders okay fine but if you see the highest folder generally that instance is installed means if you see 140 this is the highest among all these folders 140 is the highest 140 means which server guys 2017. 2017 150 means 19 means if you see the highest numbered folder that means that instance is installed in that machine okay so that is one way second way is if you see here how to find which version it belongs to first way is that the highest number of folders second way is you can see ms sql 14 14 means which version major uh, major build number guys 14 means which version major bill number yeah. 14. 2017 bill number 14.0 so msql 14 means yes by using this 14 number we can identify yes equal 2017 installed by using this msql server which type of instance it is guys which type of instance default default instance in the morning we discussed it right there are two types of instances one is default instance second one is named instance. named instance named instance okay so what will be the name of the named instance guys while connecting what name we have to give mission name hmm. slash backslash username instance name not username that is account okay okay username is account that is login name okay so this is like if you see ms sql server means it belongs to a default instance guys okay so while installing if you see there is an option called instance id you can still change that instance id but if you change it, that instance id you can see a different folder here so what other dbs will think like there is no default instance installed that's why don't change any instance id and all keep it as it is okay so this is generally these folders and all will be created when you install the SQL Server. When coming to the services, what kind of services will be created? If you open services.msc, you can see all the services that are there in that machine. Don't think services.msc belongs to SQL Server. Services.msc is a tool where we can see all the installed services 
in that windows machine in those services sql server is also one service guys so if you expand this you can see here just go to yes go to hit the yes button you can see all the services starts with yes there you can see six services will be installed guys when you install sql server six services will be installed so how to find which one is a specific service which one is a shared service how to find guys which one is a specific service which one is shared services and uh, how many specific services will be installed how many shared services will be installed how to find any idea MS SQL server name. Very good. Very good. That means what is that? Is it a specific service or shared service? Specific. Specific. Okay. So listen carefully, guys. When you install SQL server, generally for the first time, you will get six services. You will get six services. You will get six services. Okay. Let me expand this. Right. So when you install the SQL services, generally you will get six services, guys. Okay. So out of these six services, four services are specific services. and two services are shared services how to identify which are specific and which are shared for the first time you will get six services when you install sql server the first for the first time you will get these six services guys next time you don't get again six services let me let me explain this concept okay again the same example if you are staying in pc generally we have a habit of writing our names on the belongings right on the plate at least one mark or one name will be there whatever things belongs to you generally you will have your name on that generally to make sure that they are not going to be used by others right so if it is specific to us definitely our names will be there on our things right on the shared services you don't find any name on the fridge you don't find any name on the washing machine why because that is shared that is not your property that belongs to the pc okay so if you don't see any names in the brackets means those are shared services if you see any name in the brackets means these are specific services when you install sql server for the first time you will get a shared services shared services two shared services browser and vss writer and four specific services daemon launcher main server main service sql server service agent service browser uh, sorry uh, ceip service you will get four plus two shared services for the first time next time as i said two shared services right next time these two won't be installed okay next time only four specific services will be created guys when you install second instance four more services will be added these two again i told you right if you joined in any pg they don't buy any extra washing machine extra fridge for you you have to use the existing one in the same way if we are installing new instance in the same machine again you don't get browser service and vss writer you have to use the same existing services so that's why you don't find any names in the brackets these two services are not belongs to any server those are shared services and if you see the name to make sure that why because when you install one more instance imagine you install one instance called sql 2017 the instance name is sql 2017 sql 2017 sorry 2017 so now the services will be created like sql server in the brackets instance name sql 2017 in the same way sql server agent okay in the brackets again sql 2017 in this way they are going to be differentiated guys so this sql server service main service belongs to this instance this sql server main service belongs to this default instance is it clear guys any issues any doubts let me show you my local services now you will get an idea this is my local laptop services guys okay let me show you right again yes and you can see here 
this is the instance name is b42 migration demo this is the main service for default instance this is the main service for b42 migration demo instance this is the full text for de uh, default instance this is the full text service for b42 migration demo this is the agent service for default instance this is the agent service for b42 migration demo this is the ceip service for default instance this is the ceip service for b42 migration demo and you see i have two instances but you still you you can still see only one browser service and one vss writer service okay so generally when you install sql server for the first time how many instances how many services are going to be created guys for the first time six six, six. six. out of six, six four are specific six. two are shared so next time if you install one more instance how many services will be added four four, 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 four. more services four more services so imagine now in my machine i have five instances total how many services will be there in that machine sql related services not other service 22 22 yes 22 very easy okay 4n plus 2 always 4n plus 2 sorry 4n plus 2 okay n means number of instances if i said i have installed 10 instances how many services guys 42 42 42 very good okay now send uh, set the direct message to me don't answer this question you have to type the answers in the chat set direct message to me everyone okay ready so in the chat you can see you can click on that everyone you can see uh, shanmuk click on that shanmuk name so that message directly comes to me only i can only see now tell me if i install 25 services 25 instances how many services i can see if i install 25 instances in that machine how many services i can see सर्विस ओके लोकल सिस्टम लोकल सर्विस नेटवर्क सर्विस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड व्हाट आर दोस थ्री सर्विस अकाउंट्स राइट फाइन सो या सो एवरीवन सेड वन नॉट टू ओके करेक्ट आंसर वन सेड 127 माधवी गोला जस्ट चेक योर आंसर वंस राइट नाउ अगेन इफ आई हैव 55 इंस्टेंसेस इन माय मशीन हाउ मेनी सर्विसेज विल बी देयर डोंट आंसर 55 इंस्टेंसेस आर देयर इन माय मशीन हाउ मेनी सर्विसेज विल बी क्रिएटेड 55 instances are there in my machine how many services will be created there 55 instances are there in my machine how many services will be created any 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 other answers guys hmm. very good very good i am very happy with your answers anyone is pending guys still any anyone is pending to answer this question 55 instances so guys akshay very good akshay okay what is his answer okay only 50 only 50 you actually. can install how can you say 222 225 227 shahana 277 okay so later you just change it to 55 instances no 55 instances madhavi golla 222 giri 222 kachaini 222 ha huh? what happened navin 222 hmm we cannot install 55 instances we can install up to 50 only okay right fine 
right so this is how generally services will be created when you install based on the number of you can you can be mute guys you can be mute right fine right guys this is how generally services will be created right so these are the changes will be done when you install the sql server guys next what we can do is okay let's discuss about the 